How's it going, everyone? I go straight to the point. It's important in order to set up the library correctly that you rename your model. In my case, I rename my model as the spear. Then you go to preferences and all the way uh, at the bottom, you see this little where it's highlighted in blue. You can set basically um, the file location where Blender is looking to find your assets. In the way that I set mine up, I, uh, in my document folder on my computer, I set up a folder that's called assets. And everything that I do in Blender, all every model that I create, I save into this asset folder. And I put the asset folder basically right here in this area in preferences. So Blender can load my assets always from this particular folder on my computer. Next is important with the right click in this little uh, uh, layer and, and objects area. You click a right click and mark this spear as an asset. And will pop up in your asset library and usually when you open up Blender there's the, uh, the timeline and then you click on this little watch symbol um, over there and then all the way to the right side there's this the asset library and you click on it and if you marked the spear in my case as an asset right there it pops up um, in your asset library now um, there's a lot of uh, categories that I already created. Um, you can create your own uh, category. And when you click on the plus right there, you can um, make a new category and rename it in whatever you like. Um, in my case, I already have my categories. And yeah, now if it's marked as asset, it always shows up in the unassigned area and then if you press N you can uh, define keywords, search words for it, uh, tags, um, you can uh, set the author's name and stuff like that if you sell your um, objects or assets um, for other people to see and then it's important that you kind of just uh, it's currently in the unassigned folder. You just drag it from there into whatever category you set up for it. And now if you check it out, it's in that category. Uh, now, but now the, the most important step of all is um, to go ahead and save your blend file. Um, and that will actually mark um, mark the asset for Blender. So now if we open up a new Blend file um, and we go to the asset library, so back to the timeline and then to all the way to the right, uh, we see that there's nothing there and that's why we need to change it um, to the to our user library. So that in my case there's a whole bunch of stuff in it because it's all my assets so it's basically all the little things that I marked, the objects that I marked in my asset folder from my computer. And that creates more and more library. And what we can do now is we can literally just drag and drop our object into the scene. And uh, it's, it's textured and everything in the way that it was before. And that makes the workflow uh, to create scenes a lot easier. See, I can just drag and drop stuff in that I created before, this little mushroom um, and other things like that. Here's like a, a little bottle and a glass and a, and a fried egg. So this makes um, the actual creation of the scene a lot more uh, fun and a lot more efficient. I hope you enjoy this tutorial and I see you next time.